Oh, no, I missed it. Don't miss it again. Yeah. Yeah. Bring your ass down. Don't you question mark exclamation point me, my friend. Welcome, everybody, to Falcon Place Goliath episode number one. This right here is a video I should have probably had out for you on Thursday. Unfortunately, I had a bit of an issue with the full build from the demo build that I got in early access in that my old save file was not allowing me to, you know, load my full build itself. And it, it was a big issue. That's under control now. No worries there. However, what is Goliath all about, Falcon? Very good question. This right here is an open world survival crafting game, which I'm already kind of a sucker for to begin with. However, as you can see the background over here, the caveat is you can actually build giant mechanized Goliaths for your disposal to actually combat other giant creatures in the game, which is actually amazing to me. So, I'd figure what we do here is probably record an episode or two, show you what Goliath's all about. If you want to see some more, we could definitely continue with the um, series on the channel. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up, but I figure today we just have a little bit of fun with this one and see what Goliath is all about. So, without further ado, let's go into New Game right here and get a, I guess, the cinematic going if I'm right here. Somehow I survived. Where am I? I better build a shelter and make a fire. Alrighty, I'm not entirely sure what the introduction means to that. It seems like this guy was flying some sort of like bomber plane over like what looked like, you know, civilization, honestly, or like some sort of war zone. But then he apparently crash landed in some sort of asteroid just floating somewhere in the world. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. I'm not entirely sure what this story is all about just yet, but that's neither here nor there. Let's actually get on with this over here. We have to gather five logs right now, so... Let's come over here and start chopping down these old trees. Let me put some volume up over here because I can't really hear too much. I may have some sound here. There we go. All right. I got the volume a bit low on the effects here, so we're not over here just listening to chop, 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 chop over and over and over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is gather, uh, gather five of these logs, which is what we're doing right here. We have some little rabbits running around. Not sure they're fucking little, honestly. Those guys are huge. Either those rabbits are huge, or I'm a really small dude. I mean, you could probably tell my guy over here has been skipping leg day conveniently. Look at this shit. He's got the giant broad shoulders of a weightlifter of all time. But look at these small little legs. Can I zoom in on you, little guy? Look at this guy. Dude, never skip leg day. You're going to be lifting all the time. I'm just throwing it out there for you. It's for your own convenience here. All right, so now we have to gather some berries as well. Cool. Um, we want to basically just set up some resources to get ourselves um, situated here, and then we're going to start building some mechs. You see that guy over here? He's going to chase you down, but check this out. How you doing, buddy? You're an angry fella, aren't you? Not yet? Oh, there he is. Okay, now he's angry. But, but, check this out. Check this out. Invisibility. Yeah. You get some special abilities down here as well. I could shoot this guy if I wanted to as well. You could do that. However, your guy is relatively squishy, so I would probably wait until you have some Goliaths to come back over here and seek some proper revenge on these guys that are chasing you out to begin with. But let me show you some of the shooting mechanics. Oh, this guy's he got stuck, though. <laughs> Sucks to be you, because now I can just shoot you over and over. Luckily, our gun does kind of um, has a cooldown time, but it does reload relatively fast. We killed this guy, and we've got some coinage over here for our troubles. Excellent. So now let's set up a cam near the crash site. That's going to be the next thing we have to do over here. Uh, I was playing this with the pre-alpha demo build they sent out to the press people over here. And um, I was going to do a press demo video on it. I never got around to it because the, I guess the performance wasn't really that great, honestly, at the time. But now it's actually good, running pretty smoothly. So uh, I think it's probably best that I waited. All right, so let's see here. We have our... Uh, ourselves situated here. Let's go ahead and make some coal. Now, with coal, it'll tell you right there, but you can easily make that with either branches or with logs. So we want to get a couple of these coals up and running. I will toss these into the fire. Technically, I should have probably... You know what? I, I regret that decision. No, 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 no. no. Give, me, give, give this back to me. I'm going to use the twigs instead. We're going to be using the logs for other purposes here pretty soon, so um, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, it might involve giant Goliath mechanized units just to give you a heads up. So we'll take the coal here for now. So with the berries and the coal, we should be able to come over to our tent now. And this is where you actually craft items. And we're going to make some healing ointments because you can see our guy took some damage from that little fall. I mean, normally, I guess falling or at least, you know, crashing into a planet on a plane would probably injure you pretty well. So we'll do one, two, and three. Use up all the coal to make some healing ointments over here. Not a bad deal to have a few extra ones just in case. We will pop this open, and now we're completely healed. You also reach level 2. That means they, uh, HP 20%, and I think the other one said gold if I'm right. Now we have a radio over here. 
Let's go check out what's happening here at the radio. Find out what exactly happened to us. We have some mushrooms. I will take those. Do not pop those caps, my friend. You're not sure how bad it'll make you trip. Radio it is. Anyone there? What? A radio? Could it still be working after that crash? And who could be calling me? Oh, my head. Hello? Hello, do you read me? This is Gromov. Gromov! Gromov! You made it, buddy! I thought you were gunners. Where are you? Well, I'm I'm right by the plane. But before I ask you where you, where you are, uh, who are you? Man, you must have gotten clunked in the head pretty hard. Don't you remember me? It's me, Dave. I'm not sure why Dave sounds like he's, you know, like from some sort of eastern territory now, but whatever. That's the voice I gave him now. Dave? Oh, wow, yeah. I'm a little confused right now. You're my co-pilot, right? Where are you? I got thrown free from the plane. Broke apart. I landed in a forest somewhere and I'm banged up, but in a safe place. I'll be okay once I rest a little. Frankly, I don't know how I'm still alive. Well, the radio still works, so we have to be within range. How can I find you? And we also have a second option here, which is... Hold on a second. I need to get my story straight. You and I were flying the plane, right? Let's actually ask about that, because I'm curious about the story here as well. Yes, I was your co-pilot. We were on a test run. Something about an experimental engine. It's a little fuzzy. I think we've got bigger fish to fry here. The single is strongest when I go to the south, so I'm thinking you need to come north to find me. Uh, okay, uh, I'm coming. I'll be right there. Wait, wait. Don't be so hasty. Have you seen the kinds of monsters that are in this place? If you come straight here, you'll be eaten faster than you can say, No, no, please don't eat me. This guy's got uh, quite a bit of a wit on him, huh? No, no, please don't eat me. <laughs> That's what you'll tell somebody who wants to eat you. Uh, I'd just be running for my life, honestly. To be perfectly honest, I don't think we're in France, Europe, or even Earth anymore. Nah, there it is. There it is. We're no longer where we should have been, which is apparently in Europe. Uh, we need to figure out. We need to figure out what's going on, how to survive, and how to get home. Okay, so what do I do? I'm safe here, so make your make yourself safe there. Get the supplies you need from the surrounding areas, then we can start figuring out how to meet up. Okay, solid plan. Alrighty, so uh, apparently whatever experimental engine we were on is probably what caused this. So that makes sense. We have to go north now. Can I? Can I kill little bunny man over here? No, I did kill Mr. Bunny Man. I'll take that coin if you don't mind. Oh, giant monster. I'd be surprised if I didn't tell you I already knew that was going to happen. <laughs> but I was surprised the first time. Uh, you've made it safely inside the fuselage of the plane. The monster beats on the outside mercilessly while you cower in the cockpit. In front of you are an array of switches, throttles, and buttons. And there appears to be a tiny bit of gas in the tank and juice in the battery. So we have some options over here to kind of combat this creature. Activate the landing gear, wiggle the control stick in the pedals, and hit the ignition. I think what we want to do is hit the ignition. That's what I did off camera anyway. Kachoom! The undamaged right engine turns over, something inside it explodes with a force that tears off the wing, smashing the monster in the face and knocking it down for the count. You're safe. Nice work. Hmm, it sure is less stressful to beat on monsters when I'm safe inside some sort of armor. I have to think about this. No. Nope. Gromov, I've got huge news. I've, accomp I've accomplished something amazing that could really change everything for us. But first, how are you? What are you up to? Uh, well, I just knocked out a giant monster by hiding in our plane and then smashing the engine and the wing to its face. Huh. That's way better than my thing. I just started a fire and cooked the fish. Well, anyway, nice work. What are you going to do now? Well, apparently I have to get to you, my friend. So I'm thinking that I want to make something, some smashing weapon so that I can crush the skulls of any creature that looks at me funny. I like that idea a lot. Hold on a second, how about both? Being armored and invulnerable plus having the smashing powers. That would be amazing. You wouldn't be afraid of anything. You can still walk all over this monster world. Say, you're right. Let me see if I can find a safe place to get materials together and build something. If I only knew where it would be safe. Ah, I think I know this. There are some obelisks around this world that the monsters don't go close to. So you could have a pretty safe area to work. Uh, I think I saw one to the north of here. Thanks, Dave. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> this Dave fellow, right? Dave, the dude with the Eastern Territory accent over here. Alrighty, so um, what's really cool about our little tent and fireplace is you don't have to take it with you. You could leave it here and then you could deploy it elsewhere. How does that work? Don't even ask me. But you know, we're in a world over here with giant monsters and we were flying over France and Europe apparently and now we wind it up in some other dimensions. So you know what? It's not supposed to make sense to us, okay? But actually, I'm not even going to cut this down because soon we'll be able to cut this down a lot easier than just over here smashing on this with an axe. Uh, more HP, oh my, oh ho ho, hey guys, how you doing over there? Those are giant spiders. Now, what's really neat is that enemies will not apparently come after you around this obelisk, so we're, we're safe here. This obelisk is safety for us. Let me turn on this torch, get some light over here. So I'm not, it's not too dark and spooky. 
How you doing? Those guys would destroy me, as you could probably imagine. So, let me build a Goliath construct. I like how this guy crash landed here. He um, realized that he attacked that giant boar with his plane, and he got the idea to make a giant construction thing that makes Goliaths. I'm not sure how it's going to play out into the story, but I'm curious about it. So, let me go into making ourselves a tent over here really quickly. Actually, the base builder, I should say. And over here, we have to make a Goliath construct. Oh, we require twigs. Oh, so we do have to actually go out here and get a couple of more twigs, which I do believe you get from the dead trees, but I could be... Actually, I think it's from the bushes, if I'm right. Hold up. Just want to make sure that these spiders aren't after me. There we go. Bushes it is. Bush. Come on, Bush. Come on, George W. I need your help right now. We have to get the evildoers. <laughs> That's my George Bush impression. It's pretty bad, I'm aware, but, you know, it doesn't matter. George Bush. What a guy, huh? Alright, so there we go. I think that should be enough twigs if I'm correct, but just in case, just in case, better safe than sorry. We gotta get the evil doers. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna stop. I've heard some really good George Bush impressions. One of my friends could do a really good one. Every time he does it, like, I'm just always laughing. Killed over laughing, honestly. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and make this Goliath construct if we can. Uh, it's up and ready to go. There it is. This is gonna be... Our giant construction thing to make our um, Goliaths. And as you can see right here, you could tell it could tell you like um, what things you can make. So teleportation device something we'll be making pretty soon. Laboratories requires you to be level four. Also requires chitin, which I do believe you get the chitin, the chitin, ch 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 uh, You get the chitins from the spiders, if I'm correct here. At least what I remember from the demo. Um, so let's go ahead and go build ourselves a Goliath. This is your Goliath construct. Here you can build Goliaths from different parts and rebuild your broken Goliaths. Okay, so. At the moment, all we can make is the wooden one. You'll be able to make stone ones, gears ones, and they all have like different resistances, better abilities, etc., etc. The, the wooden one, the game show explain what it does to us, so I won't do it myself, but it'll tell us right now. Right now, at the moment, we need to make the head, all the parts for it, correct? However, you see the total cost? The total cost will tell you if you have everything available already, and we do. So we'll just go ahead and craft Goliath. And we have our wooden fella right here. Alrighty. Wooden fella is really fast. However, he's kind of squishy because he's made out of wood, so, you know, it happens. Um, <laughs> made out of wood, he says, with a smirk on his face. Let's go ahead and climb in here. Alrighty, so the wood glide. Lightweight and mobile glide from the environmentally friendly materials. Press V to quickly roll in the selected direction. Nature. Quickly overheats at high temperatures and can catch fire, taking damage. Regenerative, uh, regenerates damage in water or high humidity. So it's really important to remember. Temperatures and, um, I guess, atmospheres will also affect your Goliaths over the long haul. So you have to kind of plan accordingly, depending on the world you're in. Overdrive. Meter fills while running. Hold the light attack to activate overdrive. That's going to make you a bit stronger momentarily. Throws a huge boulder, causing damage to anything in the impact radius. We get that unlocked at level 4. Hurricane at level 6. And Force of Nature at level 17. So we got some leveling to do here for sure. Gromov, you there? It's Dave again. I've got big news. Listen, buddy. I don't think we're on the same world. Oh, really? You think, huh? <laughs> Get with the program, Dave. I figured that out long ago. Exactly. Really funny. You've been building Goliaths, not studying the stars. How do you know what I'm doing, buddy? Huh? That's what I want to know. I don't think you really are, Dave. This world, it's made of these bits and pieces and people and creatures that have been pulled from all over the universe. But they are all stuck together like a planet. It's like they're chunks, all orbiting around something at the center. Alrighty, but how can we communicate by radio if we're in different, uh, chunks? That's a good question. That's the thing. With the way these orbits work, something we swing close to each other, and the reception's good, and sometimes we're far away and the reception's bad. Sometimes we're even completely blocked from each other and we can't communicate at all. Damn, Dave has been busy, hasn't he? How does he know all this information? Um... Ah, uh, for crying out loud, I spent all this time building a big armor walking robot thing to get to you, and you're not even on the same world? Sure. Silver Lightning, mon ami. You, you know the portals that's near the black obelisk in the base you've made? It doesn't work, right? Well, I did some experimenting on mine here, and it just needs a couple of things to make it work. Green crystal, a little glue, and a stick. Even jury rigged together. I like how these things are so easy to fix, you know? <laughs> a couple of sticks, a couple of gems, and some glue. It'll have the obelisk up and running in no time. Alrighty, so, here's our regular attack, here is our power dash, and here is our little dive. So let me find out exactly what we need to fix you. You're not gonna tell me? Oh, well, I guess we gotta find the crystals. The I forgot that there is a, a little quest log up there up top. Um, so let's see. 
That and I can also follow the mini-map that tells me where to go. Oh, look at who's back over here! Oh, you were a tough guy a while back, huh? Oh, yeah, you're not so tough now, now, are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. So now that we have Giant Goliath, by the way, look how easy it is to mine stuff, or uh, mine stuff. Technically, we're not mining trees, but it is to gather resources. Now, however, the, the Goliaths cannot mine the little small bushes, I should let you know. So, if you want to do some twig hunting, you might want to get out for that. Goliath, uh, I'm going to piss off the entire race of these guys. Let me just dodge row here, but check this out. Oh, no, I missed it. Don't miss it again. Yeah. Yeah. Bring your ass down. Don't you question mark exclamation point me, my friend. All right, he's dead now. So over here, we have some of these, um... No, oh, but you... <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, like, disturb your rest and kill your society here. But I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to get to your first before they do. All right, we got this. spider rabbit. Let's um, go ahead and collect these gems. Those are the ones we do need. Now it's just to repair the portal. That was relatively easy. Done. I should say so. But I'm going to collect more of them because why not, you know? It is a crafting game. You can tell me I'm not going to need gems in the future for something else. I beg to differ. I'm pretty sure we need a lot of them. Oh, check this out. Since so it's raining, we are regenerating HP. That's pretty badass, right? I do like that myself. Alrighty. Now, I'm not sure if it's a good thing to break these um, cocoons completely. I feel it's kind of like Don't Starve, where you want to probably build, destroy a few of them on occasion, but not completely wipe out the entire population because you'll need... Oh, Overdrive's ready. Overdrive usually is ready by the time you're done with the first bit of combat here, so there's no reason I even activate it. So I'll just keep it around for now. Hey, I remember you. Are you still knocked out? Hey, apparently you are. Let me go ahead and before we leave, get a few more of these logs here. Dead tree? Now you're really dead now, aren't you? Okay. Let's get on out of here back to our little obelisk area and get this um, thing fixed up, huh? Teleportation device is ready. Go to Markwood. New world's now unlocked. Great. So, teleport device it is. We want to go over to Markwood, which is right here. Let's see, price is going to be five of six. Oh, good thing we got a few extra gems now, huh? So it's going to cost me uh, a bit of currency to actually jump from world to world. That's perfectly fine. Go for it. Um, all right, so let's see here. Gromov, you dead. I've heard some rumors about the world you're on. It sounds like the psh, folks who could help you the most are the Forest Brotherhood. Psh. The Forest Brotherhood? So a bunch of guys who are related to each other just hanging out in the forest? No, it's worse than that. They're not people, and they're not related to each other. They're... Shh. Sorry, I didn't get that. Repeat, please. Over. I said they're... Shh. That are extremely... Shh. When they... Shh. <laughs> Shake the radio set. Silence. Turn off the radio. Okay. Um, he's heard rumors. What, who, the, who the hell is Dave talking to, honestly? I've heard rumors? What do you mean you've heard rumors? From who? Who are you conversing with in this, like, you know, unknown world to us humans? Honestly. Okay. So, I do... I want to get off of my guy, and you can get off of your guy relatively easily here. You will travel slower, that's the only other issue here. But I want to collect a few more items and probably more berries so we have, like, ways to heal down the line. So, let me just move ourselves here a little bit. I see some berries that I want to collect. There's a lot of berries over there. Alright, hold on. Let me swap over to Big Goliath Man. What is that? Oh, what is over here? <gasps> what are you supposed to be? Can I go in there and steal stuff? You know, I'm not going to test it. I'm kind of worried about that. Oh! <laughs> Spider-Man! Don't just... Oh, you guys are level 3. So you guys are a bit stronger than the ones that we were dealing with before. So you can do some damage to me. I want to avoid you a little bit if I can. And do that. I reached level 4. I think that unlocked the skill for us, if I'm correct. Yeah. You're dead. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, the boulder toss. Ooh, that works out quite well. I like it. Now, hold up. Hold up. There are... You're holding a knife. You're like a rat-like creature. That worries me a little a little bit. Rats are usually not the kindest dudes in most of these weird fantasy games. So let me get off of this here for a moment. I just want to steal berries. This is their berry farm. I'm over here just stealing shit. It's okay. It's okay. As long as the rats don't see me, we should be fine. Maybe I'll tell him that I know Master Splinter. And I'll be like, hey, it's fine, dude. Uh, I'm connected with the um, old Splinter, you know. Uh, ninjutsu? Yeah, that guy. Hangs out with the turtles all the time in the sewers? Kind of a creeper, if you ask me, but that's neither here nor there. Alright, we got a few berries. That's all I really wanted to do. Just grab a few extra berries. I'm gonna just book it here. Before we piss off who we're not supposed to be pissing off, so... Goliath, let's go over here to our destination, if we can. And we'll probably start thinking about wrapping up this episode here pretty soon, guys, if you don't mind. Make sure they're not too... Huge here, that's what she said. 
Oh, really? You guys gonna get crazy with me? Let's get them, boys! The Goliaths are attacking our people. Oh, that's a little baby! Oh, no, I just I just smashed the, the eggs. I wanted to actually collect those eggs and find out if there was like, some sort of premise to them. I'm still gonna do that. Hold on. Let me just make sure that there's none of these guys gonna bother me in human form. Oh. oh, they start hatching after a while. That's what happens. How do I get to those eggs, then? Like, these guys are really protected. No, they start hatching. Don't hatch! Don't do the hatching! Collect, 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 collect. What I like about this, even though it's like a, you know, survival crafting game, I love the fact that, you know, the combat is all like, you know, in real time. So it feels like, you know, there's usually like... I can't do anything there. I figured as much. Usually when it comes down to like survival crafting games, you know, you're kind of like really squishy. You can't really defend yourself too often until you like, you know, build the proper tools. But over here at least, you could like, you know, become a badass initially. Oh, I'm not gonna be a badass with that guy though. No Surrey Bob. Why are you glowing so high and mighty? Oh, hey, how you guys doing? Do you, do you want me to get off of my thing here so I can hang out? How you doing? What's this? Why does it shine so much? Huh? There's a store? Is that what you're telling me? Oh my god, there's like an overworld here. Oh, hold up a second. Let me travel a bit faster. You see, like, there's like, store, like, little money bag icons. Uh, I come in peace. I come in peace, big giant plant. Hey, how you guys doing? You're a trader. If you do not have good reputation to start trading, look for quest givers in the settlements. They have special quest signs above their heads. Oh, I need a I need a reputation of 50 with the Forest Brotherhood. Oh, well, good thing that I'm actually on my way to meet you guys. Okay, cool. So we need to, like, make some favor with them in order to get some training done. I get you. That makes sense. Okay. I guess. I don't want to, like, you know, just trade with any stranger out there. All right, so you are the person. Rudy Toot Toot! Hail and well met, stranger! Welcome to the Forest Brotherhood! You appear to be friendly, but my goodness, one just doesn't know. Ho oh, ho! Might I inquire that what your business is in this part of the Merc, Merkwood? Uh, hi, I'd like to talk about, I'd like to talk with your leader. I've got to figure out how I got, uh, how to get out of here. I like that idea a lot. I see, oh yes, indeed, I do. Hoo hoo! <laughs> the leader is away at the moment, in fact, he is on a mission. A marvelous mission, a mission to save the fox's very livelihood. But who might you be, and why would you like to see him? Uh, my name is Gromov. I'm not from here. I need to get... I need help to get home. Very good. The Forest Brotherhood is always happy to help those on a mission. Our leader is in the north of here, and if you were to join his group and help them on their secret mission, he would sure to do you whatever he can to assist you. Godspeed and farewell. Thanks a lot, Foxman. We're at level 5 now. Perfect. That's some easy leveling here, don't you? Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, I encourage you to stick around for the next one. should be coming out here pretty soon for you. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support also does me a lot. And as I mentioned, if you want to see more beyond the two episodes I'm planning to record here today, do let me know. We'll continue going forward. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.